guys welcome back to my channel today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys and it is using the Tamina palette <laughs> uh, you guys are going to probably get really annoyed but um, I'm actually thinking of doing all of the eyeshadow looks that come with it just because I really like them all and I do want to use this palette more they are just these little tutorials that come with it and I decided might as well show you guys how I interpret these ideas and these eyeshadow looks I really like this one a lot because it incorporates the blue in a very subtle way um, a way that I've been wanting to try anyways I think blue really looks nice with brown eyes I think it makes them pop a lot more. There are certain colors that make brown eyes pop a lot more so this is really geared towards the brown eyes and um, I believe it's hazel and green eyes. Is it green eyes that blue pops with? I'm not really sure if it's the blue eyes or just the hazel and brown. I did want to use this eyeshadow look so this is what I will be showing you guys today and it is super super nice. Obviously it's not exactly like how it looks on the tutorial. It's a totally different. I don't have the same Arabic eyeliner that this one has. But I decided to put my own little spin on it and I'm sure you guys will put your own spin on it as well. When you see the tutorial, you know, you get creative and you get, you know, like what you like and stuff like that. So I'm going to call this the Venezia Eye Look because that is the color that is popping out um, in your eyes and that is the color I mainly focus on. Not that it's the predominant color because it's not, it's actually just on the lower lash line. But I do feel like because that is the pop of color, it ties the whole look together. So that's what I'm going to call it. I really hope you guys like it and enjoy the tutorial. So after priming your lids, I prime mine with Paint Really Paint Pot, which is the usual one that I do. And then I'm going to apply fresh all over my lids. I know this is going pretty fast, um, but the next step is to blend Bengal into the crease of your eye and just deepen the eye a little bit. That'll be your transition shade. And then you're gonna take Sangria in a small pencil brush and just apply that to the outer and inner corners of your crease. And then you're gonna blend that out as much as you can. You don't want it to be too red because this eye look is a very neutral type of eye on the lid. After blending out Sangria, you're just gonna add a little bit of custom just the gray color in this palette and it is so pretty you just have to blend this out a lot and then you're going to add chocolate on top of that to deepen the eye look even more the final step is to put blush in the middle of the eyelid right between the crease and the inner corner colors this will brighten up your eyes and focus them on the um, middle portion of your eyes which I love a lot now I added a lot more chocolate than um, what was featured on this eye look. I just like the look a lot more when it's a lot more brown. And um, I feel as if this eye look, since it is a neutral color, I did want to add a little bit of depth into my eyes because I do have very big eyes. Next I'm going to do my wing liner and in this tutorial she did have a very Arabic style wing liner, but I really don't know how to do that. I haven't practiced it yet, so I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to do a regular eyeliner wing liner, and the eyeliner that I use is the Stila All Day Stay Liquid Liner, I believe. It's like the pen one, which is my favorite one. It's like the best thing for people who are beginning to do wing liners. So if you want to try that out, it's totally worth those 20 bucks. The following step is to add Venezia eyeshadow, which is the blue eyeshadow with an angled brush. I packed this on as much as I could onto my lower lashes and it took about three coats to get it to an opaque look. Then you're going to add your um, black eyeliner to your waterline and I just use a Maybelline eyeliner um, that I have that I really like. And then I went again with my Venezia eyeshadow and just added another coat of that. After I added my mascara and lashes, and I did that off camera because it was just way too difficult and I'm not about that life. So for 
my bronzer, I use the Kat Von D palette in Subconscious. That is the lightest bronzer that they have on this palette and I absolutely love it. I do want to mention that I did my foundation off camera and I used the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Ceylon. That is obviously my favorite foundation and I have a tutorial on or a review on it um, linked down below. So for the lips, I've decided to do something very, very neutral and pale. I used Honey Love from MAC and it is, I believe, an Amplify or a matte. I'm not really sure. It's a little bit shiny in this one, but I really hope you guys like this look. So I really hope you guys liked that tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to thumbs it up. If you haven't already and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos every week and I'm actually trying to upload more than once a week. So hopefully that works out. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye guys.